And you may now begin your debate on animal experimentation. All right. Our thesis statement is that animal testing is good. Um, our, well, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Um, well, we think animal experimentation is well because, well, um, because. <laughs> Give me points, dude. Give me the points. Um, because we could, if we say one animal dies, a thousand people would be saved. That's so funny, Mike. No. And animal experimentation has led to most of the major medical advancements of the 2000s. Many animals that have been experimented on have developed cares for many sicknesses. An estimated million animals are killed each day by automobile accidents. That's 365 million animals per year. And you're done. Oh, I'm done. Opening arguments for the other side. All right. There's 25 million animals a year that are tested on in the U.S. And I think it's wrong because they're innocent and there is ways to prevent from having to test on animals. And I am the pet food brand even tests on animals and there, there are dogs that are put in steel cages and they're left to suffer and they're debarked and left in the heat all day. And 70% of animals are back home with their families from that company, but they still uh, have 700 that are there and they don't let people inside. And think about how you would like that be done to your dog. All right. My first argument, I would say that animal testing has saved uh, many lives of humans. Um, it has made the U.S. one of the leaders in uh, discovering medicine that cures people and keeps them well and healthy for many years to come. Um, there are many risks to animal experimentation, but it could also come positive outcome that could end up curing AIDS, cancer, and diabetes. Um, um, there are so many diseases out there that have been cured, and if we keep animal testing, uh, there's a possibility that we could cure them one day, and that is the conclusion of my first argument. Um, most animal testing does not help human illnesses. Less than 2% of the tests are recorded to help, but the other 98% isn't accurate or anything. And we do animal testing on animals for illnesses that we put upon ourselves, like overeating and unhealthy choices we make. So we just blame the animals for our problems. 95% um, of drugs passed by animal tests are immediately discarded and they're useless and dangerous to humans. It's 95%. And up to 90% of animal tests results are discarded as they are inapplicable. In yeah, to man. Inapplicable. Yeah. So most animal testing does not help you. All right, well, we do do a lot of tests on rats and other animals, and they're not always that accurate, but we do do tests on chimpanzees that can be more accurate because they share like, most of our genes and everything. So we, if we experiment on them, we have a better chance of coming with the cure for humans because we have a better chance of how we react if the way they act. And animals do have rights, and I respect that, but the number one priority is that humans are safe, and second priority is animals. And the risk of animal tests is a sacrifice that we should make because
because it could uh, possibly change the lives of many Americans and people all around the world. And uh, a quote that I found from the website is, nothing good comes without sacrifice. And I believe that is true because a lot of things are good if you sacrifice something. At first, when they were doing the test on a, on the test of an eye irritation on an albino rabbit, they put the substance in, substance into its eye. Then the doctor records the data. This test can last up to 72 hours, while most of the tests can last up to 7 to 18 days. Reaction to this test includes swollen eyelids, inflamed irises, which in, means getting an open wound at the corner of your eye, ulceration, which means to get an open wound, bleeding, massive deterioration to quickly get worse, and to become blind. Many animals break their neck trying to struggle to get away and escape from the horrible experiences that they're going to be put through. This is why I think that it is wrong, because they shouldn't be getting hurt during the process. All right, if we outlawed animal testing, how would we know if our products are safe? Say one animal dies from testing, the product could go on to sicken, harm, or even kill people. Not just America, but maybe the world. But animal testing could sit, stop that. There are alternatives to uh, animal testing, and it costs a fraction of what animal testing costs, and also takes less time. They have a special skin called Corosapex that they, they can use on um, uh, makeup and hair products and stuff to see it from being used on animals. And they also have computer modeling, and the John Hopkins Center reduced the number of animals that are being tested on because they use all of those things, and it's been running since 1881. And they can also uh, look at human behavior to help because that's how they linked um, smoking with heart disease by looking at how many people smoked and how many people got heart disease after. The statements, um, monkeys are similar to us in ways they are like closer to us than rats and other animals are, but 32 monkeys just died two weeks ago from heat because the scientists left them in the lab and didn't take care of them all. Um, animals are kept in cages, guinea pigs and small rats are kept in little shoe boxes and aren't even taken out to take care of. And monkeys are kept in cages, also dogs and cats, and they are even played with or taking proper care of. Um, so we don't really take care of the animals that we test on. And if we test on animals, you know, how do we know they're not healthy and they don't have rabies? But results can lie to us about that. And um, they have saved, you guys may say that they saved a lot of humans' lives, but look at the technology nowadays positive that the products, besides killing toxins, that there's other ways that products can kill toxins just animals. It saves lives, but there has been tests on products that have hurt humans. Animals could have different reactions. You said the animal isn't healthy. Are you sure that you can trust the results? At least 450 methods exist which, with which we can replace animals. medicines that we could cure diseases that we don't have the cure right now for and um, we could put a stop to to deadly diseases like cancer and um, uh, you may say that uh, how would we feel if we were the ones tested on? And if we stop animal testing, we could be the ones tested on if we don't test on animals. And that's it. That concludes the debate? Yes. Floor, can you touch, touch button?